Hello everybody, this is Sharon. I'm so excited today because I'm doing a follow-up on my last video, Chemotherapy Didn't Work, Part 3. And I finished off with it in saying that there was a possibility that there was a new target therapy drug for me called Herceptin. And this drug was considered because number one, during my biopsy tissues, it actually killed the cancer cells is what had happened. So there was a strong possibility, there is a strong possibility that it may work in killing my cancer currently that I'm fighting. Another reason it works is because they found that my cancer cells have since mutated to a different type of cancer cell called HER2 new. It's H-E-R, the number two, and N-E-U. And they said I have a HER2 new overexpression. They said that quite a bit and I didn't understand what it meant. But long story short, because of that mutation in my cancer cells, it seems that this Herceptin, which is a drug typically utilized for breast cancer patients, may work for me. Now, I've always heard of that correlation between breast cancer patients and ovarian cancer patients. So now here I am, kind of making some of that a, a fact. Of sorts even though I still haven't wrapped my head completely around it but I'm excited because I had my first treatment we found a sponsor to help cover the cost of the chemo which is very expensive and I don't say chemo it is not chemo it is more like an immunotherapy type of treatment but it is still considered a therapy treatment against cancer uh, I still receive it the same way I normally would normal chemotherapy and that is through my port that I have right here and the only difference is I didn't have to be given steroids for me. Um, I only had to have a Tylenol and a Benadryl, which I was just really ecstatic about because I normally don't l like to leave feeling drugged out. So I had no fatigue afterwards, none of the side effects, no nausea, no hair coming out. Um, is it working? I don't know yet. We haven't had any lab results since my first dose of this, but I feel great. I haven't felt this much like my normal self in a long time. But getting to the real serious point of all of this, I didn't understand. I meant to ask Dr. Smith when I saw her last, could she explain to me how that happened? What What is this her to new? And why is it so different? Why is it so odd to have it? So I looked it up a little bit and basically this is what it says because I use this a lot with me. It said the term HER2 new and oncogene O-N-C-O-G-E-N -E overexpression means that your cancer cells carry a particular cancer causing gene oncogene it is also being called HER2 positive. I've heard that a lot too. Overexpression means that the gene, this gene, is permanently switched on. So does that mean I, my body type is predisposed to just almost inevitably I have to have cancer? Um, I, I have to ask her about some of that too. HER2 new is a relatively recent discovery. Scientists have discovered that breast cancers with this oncogene are faster growing and more likely to become resistant to chemo, which again, if I have it, it explains a lot about all the recurrences that I've had, and I have had many. It has been a battle. The Herceptin targets the HER2 new oncogene. Herceptin is a type of monoclonal antibody and this antibody, this is an antibody that has been made in the laboratory that targets cells that carries the HER2 new gene. That's what I found but it made me understand. So basically Herceptin is allowing, is using my own 
immune system. It's sort of boosting it to attack a specific type of cancer cell. And that's what is happening in my body. So it explained that when I had my initial, the only side effects I did have were initially at the first infusion, and they told me that I would probably have it, but that it would pass, and it did. And it was just like chills. It was just like, uh, you, you know, your teeth were just chattering. And uh, that lasted for a few minutes, and then eventually it passed. But it felt like I had the flu or I had a cold, and I was running a fever and fighting some illness. So it felt just like what this is probably doing to the cancer cells in my body. So right now, that's where I am. Don't know how well it's working or not, but this has been a long time since I felt this great. But I'm just trying to form a lot of you out there what is going on, what the HER2 new gene meant, um, what, why the Herceptin is working. I had a lot of you ask me these questions, so I wanted to make sure I was armed with the correct information before I posted it to you. Plus, it was for me too. I needed to know as well what it meant for me. The only question I have now is this. A while back, I had a BRCA test. That's the test that determines if you are prone to have a mutation. In your, in your body, like uh, genetic mutations. Now, I don't know if it's just genetic mutations or uh, cancer cell-related mutations. That I will find out too. But at the time I took it, it came up negative, like I had no mutation. So now my question is, so when did this mutation happen? Did it happen after I took the test? Which was about a year after I was first diagnosed. So it was fairly early on. And I need to find out what does that mean then because the BRCA test came up negative. And at the time I was just thinking, well, I guess you got ovarian cancer just from the luck of the draw. I don't know. But anyway, there you have it. I hope it's helping someone out there. Please, you have my channel. Continue to write questions. I love helping people. I've heard some really heartbreaking stories. It doesn't have to be that way. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to help. I have to help while I'm here on earth. And I think that's why I'm still here sometimes, is that I have to help people fight this horrible cancer and just hopefully save them uh, a lot of distress. If I can do that, then that's a good thing. So anyway, I've said enough. You all have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'm going to try to, and try to enjoy my decent appetite for a change. It's not steroid induced this time, so anyway. You all have a great day. Love you and take care. Bye-bye now.